wrestling match is normally six minutes long and is divided into three two-minute time periods. In that time, the wrestler must either outscore or pin their opponents to win the match. There are several ways to score in wrestling. There is the takedown. When a wrestler gains control of his opponent, two points are awarded. Just taking the other wrestler down doesn't automatically give you two points. You must have control of your opponent. This is not a takedown. No points are awarded. A wrestler is awarded one escape point if he is under the control of his opponent and somehow gets free. If a wrestler is under the control of his opponent and in a series of moves gains control over his opponent, he is awarded two reversal points. If a wrestler has his opponent on his back so that only one of his shoulder blades is on the mat, he will be awarded two or three near fall points, depending on how long that shoulder blade is on the mat. You will see the referee counting the seconds. To get three points, the shoulder blade must stay on the mat for a minimum of five seconds. The near fall points are awarded only after the possible pinning combination is completed. During the match, the wrestlers must be working to gain control over their opponents at all times. If the referee determines that either wrestler is not doing everything they can to advance their position, he will warn a wrestler for stalling. The next time the referee sees stalling from that wrestler, he will begin awarding penalty points. Fleeing is a similar offense. A wrestler may not intentionally back away from his opponent or go outside the ring to prevent from engaging his opponent. Warnings and points are issued in much the same manner as stalling. Many wrestlers have lost important matches because they took a step back before engaging their opponents and had been warned not to do so. A match may end in a technical fall. When a wrestler has a 15-point advantage over his opponent, the match ends, regardless of how much time is left on the clock. A pin, or a fall, happens when a wrestler places both his opponent's shoulder blades on the mat. Regardless of the score, the match ends and the win is awarded. This makes wrestling very different from any other sport because at no time is a win beyond a wrestler's reach. Even if a wrestler is losing by 14 points with two seconds to go in the third period, however unlikely, he can still pin his opponent and win the match. Here, the wrestler below is losing by 14 points in the third period. In just seconds, he reversed and nearly pinned his opponent. Before a match, the referee will issue the wrestlers a green or a red anklet. This will help keep track of the wrestlers when scoring the match. The match generally starts with the wrestlers standing facing each other in what's called the neutral position. At the end of the first period, the referee will flip a disc that has a red and a green face. The winner of the toss has a choice to begin the next period in the up, down, or neutral position. He may also defer the choice to his opponent. The other wrestler then has a choice of the starting position in the third period. If the score is tied at the end of three periods, a one minute sudden death period is used. The first wrestler to score wins the match. If there is no score during the overtime period, a fifth and final 30 second period with special rules is used. The wrestler who scored first has choice of starting position, up or down. If the tie is 0-0, then a point flip is used. If the wrestler in the up position can prevent his opponent from escaping his control without stalling, he is declared a winner. If the wrestler in the down position can escape, he wins the match. The time between periods is kept to a minimum. Usually the amount of time it takes for the wrestlers to get back to the center of the mat. There are no timeouts. However, the referee can stop the match for several reasons. One reason would be for an injury. The referee can stop the match for each wrestler up to two times or a total of 90 seconds of injury time. If a wrestler uses the entire 90 seconds either all at once or during two occurrences or used up both injury times and requires another stoppage, even if he only used 30 seconds of total injury time and cannot continue, that wrestler forfeits the match. When a wrestler returns from a second injury timeout, his opponent will have the choice of starting position, regardless of the way things were before the stoppage. If a wrestler is injured due to an illegal move by his opponent, the referee may allow recovery time. A wrestler has two minutes of recovery plus the balance of the 90 seconds of injury time if needed. Finally, there is blood time. If a wrestler is bleeding, even from a minor scratch or just has a bloody nose, the match is stopped and the wrestler is sent to his trainer to control the bleeding. The Ohio High School Athletic Association has a zero tolerance on this issue because of the close contact wrestlers have with each other. Each wrestler has a total of five minutes of blood time. And that's all there is to wrestling. Outscore or pin your opponent.